Hello everyone, welcome to Clay Formations, where we create things odd, eerie, cute, and creepy. Or anything else that falls out of my bizarre brain. So, if you want to see today's creation, just keep watching. Are you ready? Let's get to it. Alright, the first thing we need to do is make some UV resin eyes. We'll add a little white paint to give it some pigment and pour it into the molds. And of course here I'm making both eyes the same size because I forgot that I wanted to make one bigger than the other. And unfortunately this whole process is a waste of time as you'll see later on in the video. Here I'm making the bigger one. It's funny, even after putting them under the UV light like this they still didn't work. I use very thin super glue and baking soda in order to make a plastic adhesive and it really works well. I'm using several layers of aluminum foil because I wanted to preserve the round shape as much as possible. I was afraid if I used Sculpey Ultralight I wouldn't be able to maintain the roundness that I was looking for. Now time to cut up and condition some clay. I actually broke my pasta maker doing this because I put it in too thick to strip the gears right out of it. Rest in peace, pasta maker. Now for some liquid Sculpey and cover it with our first layer of clay. And now the task of making it as round as possible. Remember how I said the UV resin eyes didn't work? You're about to find out why. As I pushed them in, they felt kind of soft. That's weird. Oh, gross. That's what happens when UV resin doesn't cure all the way through. Well, I guess we'll do what I should have done all along, and that's use white translucent Sculpey. That way I have a little bit more control over the shape and the size. Those eyes look a little too far apart. Let's uh, put them a little bit closer together. Hopefully it won't create an air pocket. Now we'll shape out the mouth. I needed to thicken up his upper lip there. Before we continue, I need to go ahead and make the teeth. About 40 of them. And here we go. Always make sure you leave enough root on the tooth so you can embed it into the clay. Four pairs of furry feet, who could that be? If you guessed Ringo, you were right. He just likes to hang out while I work. And also to make sure that I take regulated chin scratching breaks. Hey, what'd you stop for? All right, let's bake these guys. Now it's time to add in the teeth. It's here I realize that there's too much of a gap between the back of the mouth and the teeth. So I pull them out and fill the mouth cavity with clay with red flocking. Now I won't have to worry about painting the inside of the mouth. Thank you. 
Sometimes the teeth don't fit right and you have to replace it with ones that fit and look correct. Now we'll work on the details around the teeth. We'll add a little clay to the corners of his mouth to make his smile bigger and creepier. Adding a little more refinements and details. Looks like this crazy eight ball's almost ready for the oven. Okay, let's give this guy a coat of black paint. I guess I don't have to tell you that painting close to the teeth is dangerous. I'm always afraid my hand is going to slip just at the right moment and put a big black blob on one of his teeth. Or his eyes. Now I'm drilling the holes for his arms. This guy's really going to be super buff. <laughs> Now to attempt to make a cue stick out of a wooden skewer. Now I'm carving out the notch for what they call the cue butt. And that's really what it's called. I looked it up. Apropos name in my opinion. And now to paint the tip. Not too bad for my first attempt at a cue stick. Now what I have to do is I have to make his hands and the arms kind of simultaneously because holding the cue stick out in front of him, I had to make sure that the arms were in the right position. If they're in the wrong position, you take the chance of having to bend the stick or bend the arm and it looks unnatural. So it's kind of tricky. There we go, that looks about right. Now we'll use some epoxy sculpt to blend the arms into his, well, eight ball head. See, told you this guy was super buff. Look at those muscles. Now I'll have to go out to the garage and make some sawdust. I mean, do the base. ready to paint it. What I'm going to try to do is make this look as close to a pool table as I possibly can. A, a round pool table. I know they're square but mine's round. Now I'll make the cue balls. I was just going to do purple and red and then a white cue ball but I said nah it needs a little more. So I end up doing a yellow and a blue one. These two extra white ones were going to be a stripe 
but uh, it didn't quite work out, so I just made them all solid. Now I'll put them on this piece of clay and cover them with a coat of high gloss glaze. Now to paint his number eight on his head. Ah, that looks like it needs a second coat. There we go, that's better. Now we'll add his eye dots so he can see. Hey, I can see you now. Now we'll add some high gloss glaze to the teeth and the eyes. Rack them up and break. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. I really appreciate it. I had a blast making this one, and I hope you enjoyed it too. Take care, and we'll see you next time.